right now you're probably looking at me thinking daddy cornstar why do you have a stocking cap on it's supposed to get about 78 to 80 degrees today i'm wondering the same thing <laughs> i'm gonna have to get my regular hat on it is starting to warm up out here and uh I can feel my head starting to get hot. I don't want my head to be sweating and then I get all kinds of blisters in my head from sunburnt from my heat not escaping. Ooh, step in here, it's a little cooler. It feels nice. Let's see, what are we gonna do? Bring in some uh, spray around. I don't wanna lose it. We'll put it over here so when I'm looking for it later, I won't know where it's at. What we're doing today, I gotta get in the little John Deere tractor, take out the monitor, and we need to take the globe off the top. We we're gonna run over to Cole's place, kind of make sure the sprayers are all ready to run. I need to put some new uh, filters underneath the tanks. We're gonna pump some water in. We're gonna flush everything. Tanks are clean. I just need to flush the booms ah uh, what else we need to do probably wondering daddy corn stars why is the hood open on your little pickup over here well two reasons my light came on for my windshield squirter so i want to top that off which we're going to do right now while we're thinking about it and we really need to check the oil which the oil should be fine but we're still going to check it anyhow Go back and see if we can find a little bottle of window cleaner and that's one thing we sometimes got to take a little time stop Check our fluids in our vehicles. Make sure everything's ready to roll. Do, 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 do. Season, all season. We're gonna go probably with that one. What's this one? Yeah, we could probably finish that one off. Oh, minus 20 and it's summertime. I think we'd be fine with that. What's this all season? De-ice. Bug remover, this is what we want. This baby will remove bugs. You go down the road here in Iowa, splat, 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 certain times of the year. You get to where you went and you want to go like, wow, what happened to my windshield? It is full of bug duty guts. And then they dry and they get hard from the sun. And you can have one heck of a time getting them off. But not with this stuff here. It says bug remover. So, and if it says bug remover, it's got to do what it says or they wouldn't sell it, would they? The old bug remover. Seems like it takes forever to get your windshield. Whew. Very, very childproof there. That came right off. Might help if we take the old. Very, very childproof there. Ha ha ha. It's kind of rare when we can pour something in something and not make a mess, but I better not crow till the crocking's done. Cause we're not done yet. Whoa, little dribble, little dribble. Not too bad though. Usually Cooper's the one that gets all the monitors and stuff out and puts it in the different equipment. But he's not here and here comes Wild Ellie. What are you doing girl? What are you doing? Ah. It's kind of amazing how quick these monitors and stuff come out. Makes it nice. Ag Leader was doing some good thinking when they you can plop them in and out at night. You get down the field, you can take them home with you. Oh, do, 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 do. Hey guys, we came to the airport. We are waiting for Cooper to land. He's been in Oklahoma on a wheat run, so he should be landing any minute. I guess he just landed. I didn't even recognize him in the plane. I thought you were gonna bring one of the planes with a sprayer on it. Yeah. Welcome back to Iowa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to bring him home. He's top hand. I think he's looking at the wrong guy. No, I'll tell you what, he makes a hand. <laughs> I'm Rick. Hi, Rick. Nice to meet you, sir. Same here. Yeah. Same here. Well, we'll get back into Mr. Sid Dillon here and we'll get Cooper home so Ellie's gonna be excited to see him. What's up, boy? What's up, boy, Mary? Hi. Hi, Robert. Hi, Ellie. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Hi. Hey, Eddie. <laughs> I'm out here at the cemetery and it started making me think and as you guys know we dig for 18 cemeteries picked up cooper from the airport from a trip that he just went out to oklahoma and it got me thinking you know 
plane gets taken out of the sky, cars hit each other, we can just fall and hit our head on something. We never know when our time's up or our loved one's time's up. I want to give a big thank you today to Policy Genius. I just thought the way things are, we need to talk about life insurance. When we're young, healthy, life insurance is really a cheap protection. If something happens to you, don't you want to know your loved ones are protected? We all probably have debt. We want to make sure our loved ones are well taken care of. And that's where Policy Genius comes into play. Policy Genius is a one-stop shop to buy and find life insurance. One nice thing about Policy Genius, they help you work with the top companies to compare prices on life insurance and there is an agent that will help you on the whole ride through. You know one thing with our life insurance we may think we are well covered but maybe you need to update it and sometimes we think we have life insurance through a company but it may not follow you if you go to a different company. That's why it's nice to have your own policies so you know what you have. You know you can trust Policy Genius. There is an evident with you for every step along the way. They will answer all your questions, take care of all the paperwork. They are there looking out for you. So if you're interested in working with Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies just starting at $292 a year for $1 million of coverage. Some options are 100% online and let you avoid them unnecessary medical exams. Check life insurance off your to-do list with no time with Policy Genius. Head to policygenius.com slash daddy cornstar or click the link in the description to get multiple life insurance quotes for free and see how much you guys can save before we quit tonight cole and cole's up on the trailer and he's going to uh i'm gonna say cole and i but it's cole up there so it ain't i going to kind of flush some lines here putting some chemicals on we're hoping tomorrow to be able to go out and start spraying some corn if you guys are going today if you guys went through some mud holes today if you guys got stuck with our sprayers today that just makes your heart want to not go out. But today was hopefully a really good drying day. Good and sunny. Cole says we need to run, so we're going to go out and check it out probably tomorrow morning, weather permitting. One thing with the booms being bigger, we got that one folded up a little bit. Hopefully we can reach out over them water spots. Hopefully they're shriveling up. I was just thinking we're walking to check the water tanks is what we're doing right now that are filling up with water. I remember when I was a little boy. Little boy, my dad taught me how to spray, and I'm talking with our old Oliver tractor, two tanks strapped to the front, held 500 gallons, and we had a boom sprayer on the back on the three point. First load I mixed up, man, I was a big boy at probably seven years old. But anyhow, the one chemical, I thought I remember how many gallons I was supposed to pour in. Everything was by a jug, a little bit more is better than a little. I guess I goofed up on the jugs got out in the field and started spraying. Man, I felt good. I felt really good. Pretty soon my dad pulls in with a pickup and weighed me down. I probably had 10 acres done, maybe 10 acres. Pulls up there and he goes, hey, son, do you remember how many gallons of so-and-so product you put in? And I'm like, let me look at my paper here. Uh, I might've accidentally doubled it. Well, I noticed there was more jugs on the ground then should have been. Do you think you did double it? Uh, looking at the paper here, Dad, I, I think I did, but is that okay? <laughs> uh, we better bring the uh, trailer home, the tractor home, and you're about half empty maybe, so we probably better put some extra water in there and kind of dilute it. Delete it? Dilute it? Well, that was the nicest looking corn that I first started out with. It pretty well browned it. It was little skeletons here and there sticking up. I thought maybe dad would be upset at me. And he goes, hey, you'll never forget this from this moment on. And I did not. And now I'm always nervous. Am I making something too strong? That's where our mix mate comes in really good on our trailer. It pinpoints everything right down to the gnat's toenails. 
as long as we got that programmed right. So I leave that up to Cole. I hear a plane flying over. So that was my first experience planting and I, every day when I went by, I seen that burnt spot. And I was always with dad because I couldn't drive it that young. But when I go down the road with the tractor, <gasps> looked horrible. And every neighbor around, what happened? Well, this is kind of our mess that we have for the hoses. I guess we shut this one up. Okay, put it all. Okay. It's kind of neat. You got a little shut off, see? <laughs> oh, geez. And I spray myself in the face. Since I'm kind of tattling on myself, another story about when I was a little boy, we had a really big water tank. It was a little bitty little, I think it was a thousand gallon steel tank. So it wasn't very big. We pulled it with a little 801 Ford tractor. So the one weekend we were filling the little tank up and normally I don't know how many hours it took to fill it. Maybe it was five hours or something and we'd shut the tank off. Well, the tank was over at another farm and started it and dad told me before I left, make sure I shut off. Make sure you shut that tank off because we won't be around for the weekend. We weren't around for the weekend, but when we came back the next week, <laughs> there was like a big old giant pond out in the side of the tank where it was a low spot. I forgot to turn the hose off. And all I remember, dad says, well, Made a good bird bath for the weekend and mosquitoes and everything, they need to eat too. My dad was always pretty cool about that stuff. I mean, you felt bad enough, but he didn't sit there and chew on you or anything. He knew you felt bad and, well, you don't need to chew out a man more than they already know they did wrong. See what Cole's doing here. I guess he's picking up a tank. I wonder what's in that one. Like I said, it's hard for me to keep up what's where and what they're all doing, but as long as Cole's got this down packed, I'm okay with that. This is one of them cases, having the door on the side of the skid loader instead of in the front. Sometimes we have a container like that. And if you got it up a little bit, the ones with the door up front, you can't open the door, you can't get out. Side door, open it up and you're out of the skid loader. I really, really do like that, that is, Probably one of the nicest features on a skid loader. See, like right now, Cole needs to get out of the skid loader. If you had this front door on a skid loader, you would not be able to get out. All right, I'll lift her up. That's just water coming out. This is some fresh water Cole's going to use to rinse the lines on one of the lines that we hooked up with some bean product. So don't worry about that dripping, just water. So what he's doing, he's going to pump some water through that line to clean everything out. There's probably not even three ounces of product in there but he just wants to make sure everything's cleaned out so when we go out to spray corn nothing gets contaminated that is one thing out here in the country when the old sun starts to go down it starts to get dark fairly quick we're still at that time of the year evenings kind of cool down hopefully within the next few weeks we'll get where nights start to get 65 70 degrees at night daytimes in the Middle 80s would be nice right now to try to move our crop along a little quicker. So pull me some Jim Beam, make it strong and tall. 